Hi, this video is going to be about the VR Joy 2000 3D eyeglasses. Um, these eyeglasses let you take a 2D video game, something with OpenGL like Quake 3 or something, or, well, I guess there's probably newer games by now, um, and convert into a 3D game using upscaling. Um, the eyeglasses look like this, and it uses some, uses this um, connector here, which is then fed into your um, monitor through this pass-through. This is my monitor cable right here. So you gotta attach this. And I guess that's how it sends it to like, you know, uh, I guess it's how it outputs the image. And then it also uses this keyboard, I think, um, to, I guess that's how the input comes in somehow. I, I don't really get it. I'm not technical. But basically, you've got to get... Um, you have to have one of those old sockets on your computers uh, to be able to use this because this is an old piece of equipment. This is about 10 years old. It's called 2000 for a reason because that's probably when it came out. And it's been sitting in my closet for a long time without being used. Um... So yeah, you, you've got to have one of those uh, keyboard uh, sockets because that USB just doesn't cut it. You got to have one of those. Um, this kind of thing is probably interesting for like a hobbyist or something who wants to take some two D, uh, you know, video two uh, D pictures or some two D game or something and upscale it. There might be a way to make it work with three D. I don't know. A hobbyist would probably be able to figure it out or somebody with a scientific mind. So basically, here's the instruction manual. Uh, I'll just skim through it. Tells you how to install it. it tells you that you gotta increase the refresh rate of your monitor to improve the clarity. Uh, it comes with a CD, which I've tried to use, but um, the software that it has is kind of probably obsolete. I mean, um, it's asking if you have certain video cards, which probably don't even, you know, you probably don't use them anymore. Like some old Radeon cards or some old ATI cards, whatever. The fact that it uses VJ gives you an idea of the age, you know, that monitor there. Cable, it's not like HDMI or anything, um, but who knows? It might still have some utility. I'll get this. It's actually <clears throat> it's a reader's company, apparently. And this company, I think it's Japanese or something, because um, when I went to their website, you know, there was Japanese text, even though I couldn't find any information on this product anymore. I found some very old reviews for the J, uh, the VR Joy 2000, but um, I don't know, I guess maybe the product never took off, which is a shame. I never got to use it because my uh, roommates didn't want me playing around with their computer and then afterwards I just forgot about it and sat on the shelf all those years. So I should just Unplug it. Put it back in the box. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever going to be interested in this thing, but... It's not going to be me, probably. I've got enough things to play around with. Out of there already. So yeah, it disconnects like this. Um, yeah. So this thing uses a wire, obviously, to power the 3D glasses. It might be possible to, I don't know, somehow use this for a TV, I have no idea, I mean, 
Obviously, the software doesn't exist, but somebody could probably do it. I don't say that lightly, by the way. I played around with a Wiimote project before, so, you know, I know this stuff can be done if someone takes the time. You can do really cool things, but you just gotta, you gotta do some research. But yeah, it's possible. Maybe someone could use this and, I don't know, make their game 3D or something on their monitor. Maybe not even upscale, but actually have two separate images. So yeah. Is that funny? 16 megabytes. Do you have 16 megabytes of video memory? That'd be great. Yeah, it's funny. I actually paid like $60 for this stupid thing. I think I got it like a GameStop or probably not GameStop. What was before GameStop? EB Games? I don't really remember. And I never got to use it. I wonder if the company is still in business. VRstandard.com So this is the box. And I don't know why there are no reviews on this on the internet. I mean, nothing modern. It's, I guess it's because it's so old and probably nobody has it anymore. If anyone actually has this thing, I'm I'm kind of curious. So I, I'd like you to post a comment. Just tell me how it works. I don't have the computer that you know can do it. I mean, if I had one of those keyboard um, little hookups, you know, like the old kind. I could try it, but because I don't have that, I wasn't able to do it. So I guess I gotta go find one of those old, like, 2002 era computers or something like that. So, yeah, um, let me know how it works.